name is Ken, and I will be talking to you about the Grinnell Glacier, some of the features it has carved into the surrounding landscape, and a little extra. But first things first, where is the Grinnell Glacier? Well, it's in northern Montana, in Glacier National Park, just less than 20 miles away from the Canadian border, and is accessible by a six-mile hike. As you begin the hike, the first thing you notice is the U-shaped valley leading up to the glacier. This valley was formed by the erosive power of the glacier thousands of years ago when the glacier deepened and widened the already existing valley. At the bottom of the valley, there are three lakes, the one closest to the Grinnell Glacier being the Grinnell Glacier Lake, the middle one, Lake Josephine, and the one furthest away, Swift Current Lake. Each of these lakes are filled with meltwater from the glacier and separated by glacial till. Moving further up, the next thing you notice is the glacial cirque that the Grinnell Glacier is in. This, of course, was formed by the erosive power of the glacier to create the half bowl shape you see today. When you're in the cirque, you can also see the igneous sill intrusion going around the cirque. This igneous sill is some of the igneous rock you can see in a park dominantly made of sedimentary rock and is around 700 million years old. The next thing that we come to is where we ate lunch, an exposed group of fossilized stromatolites. Even though this has nothing to do with glacial formations, it has to be mentioned. These stromatolites are around 1.4 billion years old and were covered by the glacier until recently. And as my teacher so eloquently put it, the glacier's loss is a geologist's gain. Now back to glacier formations. If you look closely at what the stromatolites are on, there are actually many roche moudonnais The side the stromatolites are on have been glacially polished, and the other side has been glacially plucked. Also on the rock surfaces around the area are striation marks and glacial grooves. The Grinnell Glacier used to fill up the entire valley that it sits in but now, due to warmer temperatures, has receded and only covers about 300 acres. Looking at the Grinnell Glacier, you can see many features that a typical glacier would have, such as deep cracks in the ice called crevasses. These crevasses are caused by the glacier expanding and moving downhill. Also, the glacier meltwater, caused by the glacier melting during the hot seasons, this does not necessarily mean that the glacier is melting altogether. It just means that the glacier is going through a cycle that it goes through every year. But the glacier is retreating, which means that the glacier is melting off more ice in the warmer months than it gains in the cold months. So if this continues, in a couple of decades, the Grinnell Glacier will be reduced to an ice sheet then finally will be totally melted and no longer there. So in conclusion, the Grinnell Glacier is melting, and in a couple of hundred years won't be there. So if you ever have a chance to go to Glacier National Park, do it, because it is one of the most beautiful places that I have ever been, and the Grinnell Glacier makes it that much cooler. <laughs> no pun intended. So if you have any questions about what you have seen or heard, do ask, and I will be more than happy to answer them. But for now, I would like to leave you with some video that my teacher and I made while we're exploring the glacier. Is it recording? Right. Hi, I'm Ken Holmes, standing here at Grinnell Glacier in northern Montana in Glacier National Park. And as you can see, the glacier is <laughs> melting. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cold. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. Okay, that's good. Go. Here we are at Glare there. Cancel that. Here we are at Grinnell Glacier in Glacier National Park in the great state of Montana. And you can see the Grinnell Glacier is a shadow of its former self. There's the glacier now, and uh, of course it used to be basically occupying the place where I'm standing. 
Um, as a result of melting back, there is now a big depression here that's filled with glacial meltwater. So this is where Grinnell Glacier used to be, and now it's a good place to cool off your feet.